Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, July the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters filling in for James Spann, who's off at the Gulf Coast. Our Skycam network this morning over Birmingham, we can see some high clouds and a beautiful sunrise shot as we look out from Demopolis. And once again, we can see some very high clouds up there, but making for a beautiful sunrise. And how about spying on James? Well, we can't see him directly, but uh, we can take a look at the Gulf Shores Skycam. And uh, the beach looks somewhat quiet. Looks like, uh, you know, a small towering cumulus off to the uh, left and one in the center there, but uh, no showers visible on uh, the, the Gulf at the moment. At the surface map, we can see that high pressure continues to be the predominant feature across the eastern half of the country, and that thanks to the upper ridge, which has finally begun to break down, and uh, we've got some nice little uh, short waves moving through the flow that are helping to suppress the ridge in the southeastern United States. You know, just a few days ago, uh, I think Sunday it was, that ridge was extending up into southeastern Canada. Uh, now we're beginning to get more of a kind of a long wave trough position on the eastern part of the country, and that's going to help to improve our rain chances. In the meantime, though, the ridge responsible for a good deal of heat as uh, the summer just keeps roasting along. And across central Alabama, we're once again in the lower 70s for the most part, but a few, a few cooler spots dipping into the upper 60s. And the humidity is still up there, unfortunately. QPF-wise, uh, you can see the center of the ridge pretty much over Texas. They're going to stay dry, which they don't need. And uh, that keeps the track of uh, the rain across the around the northern periphery, as well as some pretty good... Uh, Showers and thunderstorms along the Atlantic coast um, on the edge of that uh, troughiness. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk in southern Missouri and northern Arkansas for today. Uh, we'll be watching that to see if any large complexes perhaps develop and get down our way. And then on day two, uh, we're outlooked with c -text, so they're not thinking that we're going to have any real organized severe weather. However, as we see thunderstorms develop, we uh, can't rule out the possibility of a marginally severe situation with damaging wind being the main uh, problem. Slight risk along the eastern seaboard, uh, Virginia and North Carolina, and then another slight risk area in the northern central plains, uh, primarily the Dakotas, stretching down into northeastern Colorado. Tropics relatively quiet, although there is a, a, a bit of a lowered pressure area over the Bahamas and Cuba uh, that is being watched, but right now no signs of that developing into anything for the next couple of days. The morning GFS uh, 06Z run, and uh, there's the troughiness developing today over the eastern half of the country, and you can see the little uh, short wave that is going to be the focus for that slight risk area. The trough uh, does get a bit uh, deeper across the eastern half of the country, and this is for Friday, and that opens the way for uh, us to see increased shower development as well as coverage and the possibility that we might see a marginally severe thunderstorm with damaging wind the main issue. Unfortunately, the trough doesn't stick around long. This is Saturday, and so we're pretty much seeing the ridge build back in already on Saturday. It's Sunday, the ridge back in there, so we're back to, you know, I have to describe it as isolated, kind of like yesterday. Not too many people getting rain, but, you know, a, an isolated shower, a possibility. Monday, ridge still there. Uh, yeah, be, am I beginning to sound like a broken record just yet? Uh, no, not just yet, but Tuesday, oh, the ridge is still there. But notice out on the west coast, we're seeing the development of a pretty deep trough, and that's building up the ridge over us. And then by uh, Wednesday the 13th, we can see the ridge pretty strong over the central part of the country, and that's certainly keeping all these weather systems well to our north. And then the ridge uh, kind of uh, edging our way, centered a little bit more over the southeastern U.S. Uh, by Thursday a week from today. So... Uh, just <laughs> summertime forecast, uh, new day, new week, same forecast. 
looking out further into the future, uh, I love the looks of this. And now we've seen it before, and you know this is voodoo. So this is the 18th, Monday the 18th of of July, and certainly that looks like uh, uh, you know enhanced chances for showers as well as some slightly cooler air. Uh, I mean, geez, if we just got back to you know 90 uh, like we were yesterday, that would be wonderful. And then uh, the troughiness is uh, the trend that we see out to the 22nd, the end of the forecast period for the GFS. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted uh, Friday morning by around uh, 7.30 or 8. Hope that you have a wonderful day. By the way, we are on one-a-day schedule since uh, James is uh, taking a little time off uh, to practice baseball on the coast with his, uh, with his son down there. So I uh, hope they're winning. Uh, in the meantime, hope that you have a wonderful day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.